Global Ties Arizona is an organization focused on building meaningful international connections and communities in Arizona and across the world. Joining us to talk more about the organization is the CEO of Global Ties Arizona, Kristen Allen. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So let's do the easy explanation now. Tell us more about what Global Ties Arizona is, how long it's been around. Sure. Thanks so much. Global Ties Arizona has been around for over 60 years, actually. We've been uh, working to connect Arizona with the world, uh, one handshake at a time. Um, we are a citizen diplomacy-based organization, and our, our main goal is to, es to essentially bring people together from around the world, across communities, and build mutual understanding. In a more cynical time, which I presume many of us think we are, has that become any more, any more difficult, or is it that at the community level, people just really want to meet interesting new people from over the world. You, you would think maybe that it is more difficult, but but actually, I think it just has underscored that it's just increasingly more important. Um, this type of work, you know, we we work work very hard to to bring uh, visitors from all corners of the world to essentially you know, meet Americans, meet Arizonans. Mm -hmm. And really, I, I think from having the, the, the conversations one-on-one, -on -one, uh, people ultimately end up understanding that we all have the, the same needs, wants, desires. So it is, a, is it a give and take in the sense that people who come here from elsewhere around the world get as much out of it as those who live here? Because I would think people living in Arizona, would it would be so great to be exposed to these other countries and other people, but I imagine it has dual benefits. Oh, absolutely. I mean, for, for folks that are here, they're, they're learning about other places around the world without really even leaving home. Um, so having that opportunity without having to get the passport and, uh, and spend the money, though I still recommend doing that. Um, but for our, for our visitors, uh, oftentimes this is their first, uh, first time in the United States. It's their mm -hmm. first real exposure. And the, the program that we implement, the U.S. Department of State's International Visitor Leadership Program, amongst other exchange programs, really um, has that has that desire to to bring uh, visitors over to really meet communities to make relationships with community leaders, uh, business leaders. Arizona is such a diverse place as it is. I imagine that makes it even more interesting for people to come from other parts of the globe because Arizona has a mix of so many different kinds of folks. It, re it really does, and I think that vi visitors walk away being very, very surprised with, with the place that they just came. Um, I think, you know, it's probably a preconception that we are in the middle of a desert here in, in Arizona, and ultimately we, we do have that, but we also get to show them the uh, many of the parts of, of Arizona that is interesting and beautiful, the, the landscape, the people, the, the culture, as well as all of the really uh, amazing industry that's happening here. I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about some great story or some great example or someone who, uh, you know, they became partners or pen pals or something based on Global Ties Arizona. We have uh, home hospitality volunteers that have for worked with us for years, opening their homes to our visitors to uh, essentially share a meal around the table okay. with them. Um, we have uh, volunteers that have been doing this for almost 40 years. Uh, I, we have one volunteer specifically that does this con continuously and she brings in visitors and ultimately they, they have a whole wall dedicated at their home uh, to where these visitors have been, been from. Okay, so what brought you to this position? I have been in love with international and international exchange, I think, ever since I, I was in high school and I had the, the great fortune of uh, going with my Spanish club to Spain uh, as, a, as a teenager. And ever since then, it, it really was a passion of mine to bring together people across cultures. Uh, you know, learning a language is, is one thing, but ultimately, when you're able to really connect with visitors on, on a different level, uh, sit around a table, share a coffee, share a meal together, and really um, have deeper, deeper conversations and deeper connections. That's really where uh, stereotypes are shattered. We're down to just a few seconds. So what is next? Is there an event we should know about or where people can find out more? Sure. I would just encourage folks to, to take a look at our uh, website, globaltiesarizona.org. We have plenty of opportunities coming up this fall for our community members to meet visitors coming in at our Global Citizens uh, Coffee Circles, as well as opportunities to volunteer and open your home and have a meal with a visitor as well. Great to meet you, Kristen. Thanks Great for being here. Thank you.